so we have a linear inequality of the type that we have seen equations, integer coefficients work with the distributive law, but we have seen this structure, but this time it's an inequality. So for all practical purposes, what is the difference? Everything goes the same way as with equations, with one exception. When we divide or multiply both sides by a negative number, the inequality sign must be reversed. So that's the only difference. All right, so let's apply the distributive law. 4 times 3x is 12x. 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. Minus 5 times 2x is minus 10x. And negative 5 times negative 5 is plus 25. Just like with equation, try to align it um, around the inequality sign. So this is plus 3x minus 2 plus 1. All right. So now let's combine like terms. On the left-hand side, we have 12x minus 10x. That's 2x. And negative 28 plus 25 is negative 3. And on the right-hand side is 3x minus 1. All right. We want to make sure that the x is on one side. It's a little bit more useful, more important to know how to not generate negative coefficients. So between 2x and 3x, I would attack the smaller one, 2x. So if we subtract 2x from both sides, then we get negative 3 on the left-hand side. 3x becomes just 1x. And so the right-hand side is x minus 1. And now we have to add 1 to both sides. So we get negative 2. I like that we got the answer in this form. So this is the final answer. So how do we read this? We usually read this left to right. Negative 2 is greater than x. But I encourage you to think about it by trying to put, put yourself into the situation of the variable. Because the variable, well, as the name shows, its value varies. Negative 2 is just the number negative 2. It's probably more convenient if you think about what x will have to do. x will have to be less than negative 2, right? When this sign is small, that's where the lesser. So we're looking for numbers that are less than ne negative 2. So that would be between any number x and negative 2, the negative 2 should be on the right, right? Between two numbers on the number line, the one on the right is greater. So that's the numbers to the left of negative 2, like this. And in interval notation, we go on to negative 2. So this is the same answer in three different formats, the, the graph, the inequality form, and the interval form. Thank you for watching.